Welcome back, everyone. Today, we dive deep into a major news story that's captured the nation's attention. Former President Donald Trump has been convicted on 34 counts of felony business fraud connected to hush money payments involving adult film star Stormy Daniels prior to the 2016 presidential election. Here's everything you need to know. The trial, full of drama and high stakes, featured a slew of testimonies and evidence, including financial documents from Trump's company and explosive revelations from Michael Cohen and David Pecker. These testimonies provided an in-depth look into the alleged actions taken to sway the election results. Michael Cohen, Trump's former lawyer, and David Pecker, the ex-CEO of a major media company, both testified about their involvement in the payment arrangements. The defense, however, challenged their credibility, pointing out their past legal issues. On the other hand, the prosecution painted a broader picture, urging the jury to focus on the totality of the evidence. After the guilty verdict, Trump announced plans to appeal, marking the beginning of what could be a lengthy process. In New York, the appeals procedure for a convicted defendant can extend over a year. Trump can't initiate an appeal until after his sentencing, following which he'll have 30 days to file a notice of appeal. What does this mean moving forward? The implications are significant, not just for Trump, but for the political landscape as a whole. As we await the sentencing and the subsequent appeals, questions linger about the potential repercussions on Trump's future endeavors and his political influence. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe for more updates on this evolving story. See you next time.